Title, Kim Jong-un's Starry-Eyed Ambition, or ICBM in Disguise. North Korea's Satellite Launch Triggers Standby Status in Japan. TL, DR, is it a bird? Is it a plane? Nope, it's North Korea supposedly launching their first military spy satellite, or so they say. Japan, however, is bracing for something a bit more boom goon than a mere satellite. Pyongyang's test could be a ballistic missile in disguise, and Japan's defense is on high alert from May 31st to June 11th. So, are we looking at North Korea's genuine leap into space, or a veiled threat that could make the international scene even more tense? Ding dong, North Korea calling. On Monday, the Hermit Kingdom slid into Japan's DMs with some news, they're planning to launch a satellite in the coming days. Now, whether this satellite is truly a satellite or a fancy term for a ballistic missile is up for debate. The launch window is set from May 31st and June 11th, which means that parts of the Yellow Sea, East China Sea, and waters east of the Philippines was on island might want to keep their umbrellas handy. Just in case. By the way, North Korea has been flexing its missile and weapons muscles in recent months, with a new solid fuel intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, added to their gym. Does this satellite launch have anything to do with this? We're not saying anything, but we're just saying. The Japanese Prime Minister's office, getting understandably antsy, is begging North Korea to reconsider the launch. They've also called in some backup, cooperating with relevant countries, such as the US and South Korea. I mean, it takes a village, right? But here's the kicker. North Korea can't just chuck a satellite into space. They'd have to use long-range missile technology that's a big no-no under United Nations Security Council resolutions. Sneaky missile tests in the past have been disguised as Earth observation satellites, so is history repeating itself? Japan's Chief Cabinet Secretary Hirokazu Matsuno and Defense Minister Yasukazu Hamada aren't taking any chances. They've called this launch a violation of UN resolutions and a threat to the peace and safety of Japan, the region and the international community. If any satellite debris dares to venture into Japanese territory, they've got a green light to shoot it down. It's like an intense game of space invader dodgeball. So why would North Korea notify Japan about the launch? Well, the rocket might fly over Japanese territory. It's as if Kim Jong-un is trying to convince us that he's just conducting a legitimate space program, but not everyone's buying it. What does the spice satellite mean for North Korea, though? Some say it's part of their efforts to up their surveillance game and improve their ability to strike targets in the event of a conflict. And when South Korea, the United States, and Japan decided to share real-time data on Pyongyang's missile launches, North Korean media wasn't too happy about these sinister measures for tighter military cooperation. But at the end of the day, we're left with a question as big as the sky itself. Is North Korea's satellite launch a legitimate leap into space or a disguised ballistic missile test that's about to escalate international tension? Only time, and space, will tell. So, what's your take on this cosmic controversy?